It's a tremendous honor, not only to have been awarded the Frontiers of Knowledge Award, but also to share it with my distinguished colleagues, Lenore Farrig and Stuart Pickett, both of whom I've known for more than three decades, and both of whom have made major contributions to the subject of theoretical ecology and its application to conservation biology. The BBVA Foundation Awards are among the most prestigious in ecology, and the great fortune to join the list of past laureates, many of whom I know well, provides a special gratification that I know that Professors Farrig and Pickett share with me. We accept the award not only for ourselves, but also for all our families, our colleagues, and the students who have made our advances possible, and we're thrilled for the recognition it brings to the problems we have devoted such large portions of our careers to. Ecology grew as a subject from its base in natural history, shaped by the evolutionary perspectives pioneered by Darwin and Wallace. The mathematical foundations are a century old, but are playing an increasingly important role both in the conceptual growth of the subject and also in the implementation of the basic principles in addressing problems such as biodiversity loss, climate change, the control of epidemics and pandemics, and a wealth of other issues that are fundamental to achieving a sustainable future for humanity. The variety of habitats and biomes in the world, the spread of invasive species and infectious diseases, the design of nature reserves and the mobility of species, including our own, all make clear the need for the development of approaches that fully take into account the spatial dimensions of population dynamics, of species interactions, and of nutrient fluxes. The approaches that my colleagues and I have taken to these dimensions are what we are being recognized for today. Lenore Farrig, the Chancellor's Professor of Biology at Carleton University in Canada, is one of the world's leading landscape ecologists. She's made major contributions to providing focus on the impacts of habitat fragmentation on biodiversity, one of the most destructive of human insults on our planet. She's pushed the boundaries of the subject as an academic discipline, but has also had a tremendous influence on wildlife conservation across many continents as practitioners have adopted her advances to reshape conservation practice. She's built upon and expanded theoretical approaches and she's connected them with data to produce principles to reduce the effects of habitat loss, in particular those that are due to road networks and other insults to natural systems. Her work is certain to contribute even more in the decades to come in the essential challenge of reducing biodiversity loss. My other co-recipient, Stuart Pickett, was at Rutgers University in the United States when I first met him, but he's long been one of the principal researchers at the Cary Institute of Ecosystem Studies, also in the United States, and he indeed played a crucial role in elevating that institute to the, its current level of preeminence. I knew his work originally for his theoretical contributions to the theory of patch dynamics, which is also an essential part of my own research program. But like Lenore Farrig, he brilliantly integrated theoretical work with direct application to problems facing humanity, specifically the importance of urban spaces in preserving biodiversity. This is a particularly timely area of research since now more than half of the world's population lives in urban areas, and Professor Pickett was one of the pioneers through his leadership role in the Baltimore Urban Ecosystem Project in addressing these matters. Uh, the sustainability of cities, especially in the face of climate change, is a challenge of obvious overriding importance. Stuart Pickett recognized that long before it became central to our common agenda, and his work provides essential structure for thinking about these issues. Though the three of us have never worked together, my own work is very much complemented by that of my colleagues. My first paper on the importance of spatial considerations in the theory of ecology 
appeared nearly 50 years ago, as I endeavored to understand the essential factors underlying the generation and maintenance of biodiversity, as well as the distribution of plants and animals across the globe. My work in this area continued in collaboration with my late and dear colleague, Robert T. Payne, in elucidating the importance of patch dynamics in the intertidal regions of the west coast of the United States. But it expanded quickly to forests, to oceans, and other biomes, and it led naturally to other collaborations involving the optimal design of nature reserves, thereby complementing the work of Professor Farrig and ultimately to the recognition of the importance of pattern and scale and the development of methods to relate phenomena across scales. In recent years, I've turned especially to exploring the interface between ecology and the social sciences, especially economics, where the ideas of my late colleague Eleanor Ostrom made clear the importance of the spatial context on the governance of natural and social systems. The spatial dimensions of these challenges are crucial in maintaining public goods and common pool resources, without which there is no sustainable future for humanity. On behalf of my colleagues, I'm honored to accept this wonderful award from the BVV Foundations, and I offer our sincere, sincere thanks and appreciation. Thank you very much.